Hey everybody, it's Craig. You may recognize me as Stutter and Craig from way back in the old internet days. Good to see you. Thanks so much for finding me. If it's your first time, do a favor, hit the old subscribe button because we are growing like a little weed right now. It's great. We have, uh, we just passed, I think, 27,300 subscribers. I mean, that's outstanding. I love it. Thank you guys very much. Um, really fun doing this, just hanging out with you guys and really enjoying what we're doing. What, what do we do here on this channel if it's your first time here? Uh, we go back, we look at classic internet videos. We relive the old internet before it got tainted by reality and hatred. So here we are. Today we're taking a look at the top 10 underrated Street Fighter characters according to Screw Attack, or me, I guess. Um, I don't know when this list was made. I, I'm, I don't remember this list honestly at all. So it's gonna be very fascinating to go through. You guys know I love me some Street Fighter. So uh, it'll be interested to see what I actually thought or what we thought as a group was the, uh, the you know the, the most underrated ones. Before we do, I wanna say thank you to my super thankers last video, Lauren and Backyard Tardis. Thank you very much for continuing your great support of my channel. Once again, all your support through, through super thanks and, and, pay, and PayPal and uh, everything over on Twitch. All that goes directly to my youth girls soccer team right now so I can help uh, keep them all in the straight and narrow and provide them with great opportunities for these, uh, you know, because that's what I love doing. It's great stuff. So let's get into this bad boy. Uh, it is the top 10 underrated Street Fighter characters. That's what it says on my screen. Uh, let's go. Thumbs up are always appreciated as always. Let's get into this bad boy. Hey, it's no secret. We love a the hell is that? Screw attack. So if we have an excuse to talk about the series, Weird transition. we're going to do it. And with Street Fighter Cross Tekken here, we figure now. <laughs> this is when Street Fighter Cross Tekken came out. I'm guessing Street Fighter 4 was out at this point. I'm guessing. Uh, certainly not Street Fighter 5. <laughs> certainly not. Um, and, and Street Fighter 6 was just a mere, mere glisten in the hopes and dreams of all fighting games fans. Which, by the way, if you're watching this now and Street Fighter 6 is out, at this point, Street Fighter 6 has just been teased. So we'll find out what happens with that. As good a time as ever. But as opposed to looking at the best and worst characters of the franchise, we're going to look at the ones that have been overlooked for so, so long. Hey, I'm Stuttering Craig for Screw Attack's Top 10 Underrated Street Fighter Characters. Oh, there you go. Oh, look, you, you know what I just noticed? That's what, what's, what's actually kind of funny is... The, the screen here is a little little jacked up. You got to be able to see the whole thing. So I'm going to fix that really quick and edit this in post-production. <laughs> okay, we're fixed just like that. Wow, the magic of editing. Let's get into this. Underrated Street Fighter characters. Look at that. That's very nice. Uh, El Fuerte? Is that his name? On the surface, he may look like okay. a generic Rey Mysterio. So Street Fighter 4 is out at this point, which is good. Wanna be, but hold up. El Fuerte is a cook. And I would love to have a meal made by a master chef Mexican luchador. All the guy's doing is looking for new recipes and- You can't say luchador, Craig! <laughs> Man, I gotta be honest, El Fuerte is a bottom, bottom tier character. Apparently the only way to do so is by kicking the shit out of people. Now he's not like Ryu or Ken who've been training their entire life to fight. He's just there to find some food. And whip that ass. Number. I gotta be honest, uh, El Fuerte, I completely forgot, was a Street Fighter character. Introduced in Street Fighter 4. I don't even know if was he in Street Fighter 5? It, just to be totally clear, there are so many characters in Street Fighter 5 I have never seen before. If you were to show me a roster of Street Fighter 5 characters, I I, I would have no idea where to start. There's so many new characters that I had never seen. Uh, because I stopped playing Street Fighter 5 after the first like week. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't even own Street Fighter 5. So I don't know. Hi. You want to talk about underrated? This chick fights with a freaking sham wow. You can't say chick! Rose literally changed Street Fighter with her ability to reflect fireball using said stylish accessory. Got a spamming Ken? Spam him right back. And there you go. Mention, she's a butt kicking fortune teller? Screw Miss Cleo. I'll call Rose any day. Number eight. I can't believe these are entries. These are so short. 20, 20 25 seconds. Insane. Nice meal. Nice Miss Cleo reference right there, though. Solid. Who's this? Hakan, Hakan! Oh my god! Man, we must add a Street Fighter 4 boner at this time, because mm -mm, Hakan, what the hell? Like a spirit, but if you know what you're doing with this grappler, he's actually halfway decent. Dude may actually be the most effective wrestler in the world. Yeah, I said a geef. I mean, really, who wants to fight a giant, fat, oiled up Turkish man? You can't say fat! It's kind of genius. Oh, and he shoots people out of his ass. Kind of funny. Uber hot wife. 
Number seven. Elena. Let's go. Very flexible and a great dancer is really nice. We're more concerned about Elena's ability to wreck shop using only her feet. In fact, she's the first fighter to only fight with her feet. She might as well just have those tiny little T-Rex arms, because she doesn't use them. <laughs> While she can't exactly take a punch, she can always heal herself. And let's just say she loses. Well, we all still win anyways. Listen, I don't know who this guy is who's doing this. He needs to be canceled immediately. Like, you can't talk about butts in 2010. Who, who is this guy? Ridiculous. Uh, Elena, the, the, we were very clearly in the Street Fighter Third Strike Love Fest, Street Fighter Four love time here. Like, it, it, it's very influenced by, by our playing patterns at that time, for sure. Number six. Vega. Two, everyone thought Vega was cool. He's got yeah. a mask and a kick-ass claw and can jump off walls, and that's cool. But pretty much everyone forgot about the dude that came before him in the original Street Fighter, Geki. <laughs> what? At least I think that's how you say it. Imagine a claw-wielding ninja that uses ninja stars and teleportation. That's hilarious. Do I really need to say much more than that? Absolutely not. Number five. I, 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 legit, I don't want to know more about, about Geki. I legitimately don't even remember what the hell just happened right there because that's hilarious. I, I have no idea. That's, I mean, sounds that sounds like a... That's a pretty good entry. Is has Geki appeared in any other Street Fighter, or I guess five or six, or I guess five? I'm that's I'm fascinated by this now. Now I need to do a little research. Oh hell yes! Not really, I'm gonna say much about a character. Dudley has a butler who follows him around in the sky. And guess what? His entire reason for fighting in the tournament in the first place was to get his car keys back from Gil. What a classic gentleman. <laughs> I mean, come on. The dude fights with a bow tie and suspenders and always has a rose on him while coining the phrase gutter trash while still managing to keep it classy. What a stud. I'll tell you this right now. There was a time where my Dudley in Third Strike, I'm not going to say it was God tier. It was pretty dang good, though. And I, I think Dudley, if, if you're a Street Fighter fan or at least a Third Strike fan, Dudley's combos are some of the most amazing and also infuriating in that game. It's fascinating to watch uh, somebody who is an expert at third strike Dudley combos, which is very a very niche thing to say. But uh, I, I think I tried playing with him in four, um, but he just didn't have the same feel. There, there, it, that, that's probably one of the most fascinating things about the Street Fighter games is how different uh the the feels are of them i think i think super turbo and street fighter 2 feel so much different than third strike uh and and like when i played five it just felt like i was i don't know i, I just felt like i was playing with boxes in a weird way <laughs> like everything felt so so weighty and i i don't know I, I didn't like the feel of street fighter 5 which is probably why i didn't continue playing it that and there was like five characters when the game came out right when they're like 12 characters now there's like seven thousand i don't know <laughs> No one really knows much about this dude. It looks like he's been watching Street Fighter matches since Ken's stage in the original Street Fighter 2. Ah, uh, yes. But that appears not to be the case. So, Kicky feet. two theories about Q. One, we have found where in the world Carmen San Diego is. After all, one of his outfits is red. Or, he's one of the most sexual beings in Street Fighter history. Oh, you may giggle, but Q parries attacks with his crotch, and one of his supers is to ram his opponent's face into his crotch, and they blow up. Which would be an <laughs> amazing fatality if Street Fighter versus MK ever happened, by the way. Ed Boon. Number three. Pass it on to Ed Boon. Let him know. Let him know. If we ever... Which, by the way, I think that's been, been, been uh, talked about many times, that that will not ever happen in Street Fighter versus MK, just because I think the same reason why why Capcom got mad at Death Battle for having Ryu, or I think I remember something about this, like Ryu, we, oh, oh, no, no, it was a sponsored Death Battle that Capcom, Capcom wanted to sponsor, and they, they wanted Ryu to fight, but they didn't want him to lose because, because he'd have to die. Little behind the scenes story there. I think that, I think that's right. I think that's accurate. If, 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 if you know, it's just one of those things that kind of pops up when you're dealing with all that stuff. Let's get him, Dan. But, 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 but Dan sucks, Craig. Shut up. No, he doesn't. Dan's awesome. Aside from having a pink gi as his default outfit and having his own fighting style, which apparently has the greatest jumping knee in existence, his entire existence is just a giant F you to SNK. He's so great that if you're not too busy taunting your opponent in the air, you can piss away an entire super bar just to taunt. Dan is the ultimate troll. 
<laughs> and he has one hell of a smile. Number two. There was there was a list where where we went through and uh, I I remember Dan's doing some sort of like aha 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 or doing doing his super jump. I Dan is is an amazing character and the idea of his backstory being just a giant fu is even better. I love everything about that and it's it's just funny to see um, how how much of a boner we had for for Dan at the time. You can't say boner. All right, this one's got to be on Capcom because Dawson should be the greatest Street Fighter character in history. He's super stretchy, can breathe fire, can teleport, and gives yoga noogies. And we haven't even mentioned his amazing attire. I mean, look at that rock and skull necklace made up of like little kid skulls or something. All we can figure is that Capcom's been nerfing them all along to make it a fair competition. Look at those sweet dance moves. There was a there was a time that was uh, probably I don't know maybe a month where I got really good, well, I say really good, I got proficient with using Dalsum um, in Street Fighter 2. Because I, having watched some Street, like if you watch high-level Dalsum players in Street Fighter 2, it's insane how good they use him. It's, it's all built around the jump and the dive, his like dive that he has, that he fall, fall, goes down. It's pretty amazing to, to watch a high-level player. And uh, I, I never understood... I'm sure you guys have seen this before. When you play Street Fighter 2 and you got Dalsum right next to somebody and then you got like, I don't know, Guile here and then you press forward and like high punch and he just does his like long punch like down on the ground past the guy. I, I never understood that. I just bothers me. Sorry. All right, to the old recap before we hit number one. Number okay. two, El Fuerte. Number nine, Rose. Def Once again, at this point, we are we are all in on Street Fighter 3 and Street Fighter 4. Not a single reference to two, really. I mean, outside of Dalsum. But here we go. Number, number one. one. Mm. Looks can be Chad James calling on aisle one. Here we go. Chad James uh, definitely had influence on this. He was a big Oro guy. Probably still is. I don't know. Very deceiving when it comes to Oro. Sure, he's an old hermit dude who lives in a cave with animals and looks like he only has one arm, but ho, 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 no. That is definitely Chad James gameplay right there. I, I remember that clear as day. That's, listen, there's there's like six people in the world who are, who dealt with Chad James's Oro, and it was all on our arcade machine in this crew attack office. Uh, Chad Chad was pretty dang good with Oro. He has a second arm, but fights with one hand behind his back so he doesn't kill his opponents. <laughs> he's just trying to make it fair for the rest of the fighters. That's and ridiculous. That was a that was a 35 hit combo. If you use both hands, he ends up in space and you plummet to the ground on fire or he throws a portion of the sun at you. Oh, is that not amazing enough for you? Or is your motor transportation a giant jumbo jet that you stand on? Yeah, I, I, I didn't think so. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there are good logic. There's solid logic behind Oro, but that was definitely a Chad James pick at number one, for sure. Wow. I gotta be honest, I wouldn't even know where to start if we were to if this list was to be redone. The top 10 underrated Street Fighter characters, because I'm sure there's an entire list of people on uh, on Street Fighter 5 that man that I I legitimately have no idea exist. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick glance and to just see who the characters are. Cause I I've never even heard of some of these people. Let's do a quick Google search here and uh, like I, let's just take a look. Take a look really fast. Oh, this is from Capcom's website. Here we go. Man, I, I, I'm, and I'm going to give you a list of all these that I know. Or I'll give you a list of the ones that I don't know. Here we go. Nash. Okay, I, he, he was in there early one. Uh, we have a privacy poly. Nikali, he came in. Birdie from, from Final Fight. This guy was kind of in when I was on the way out. Uh, Karen from Alpha. Laura was in. She was an early character. This Fang guy, I think I've seen him. Look at Oh, that's kind of interesting how they have all their, uh, their stats here. Uh, Alex, Alex is in it from Third Strike. Interesting. Ibuki, Balrog, Yurian, Jury. Okay, so I, I reckon I don't know who this is. Phantasm of Snow and Ice. Colin, I guess. Okay, Ed. Who the hell's Ed? Abigail. That's from Final Fight. Manat. Wow, there's so many characters. Zeku. I don't know who these guys are. Uh, Falky. Is is that one of the girls from Alpha Three? Huh. So interesting. G. They got a guy named G. And Cage, what, Cage looks like uh, like Ryu. Is that like bad guy Ryu? E Honda's still there. Gil from uh, and Poison. Lucia, I don't know who Lucia is. Seth is back. Okay, 
Uh, Dan, I don't know who Akira is. And Luke. Luke is the new guy. Man, so many characters. I have no idea who they are. So, I would... That, there, I mean, there's an entire list of characters that Craig has no idea who they are in Street Fighter. Which is really bizarre to say because I'm a big Street Fighter fan. I would love to hear your thoughts on this list. I would love to hear your thoughts on Street Fighter V as a whole. If you like the game, should I pick it up? Should I actually try to play it? Or should I just hold off until Street Fighter VI? Because everyone is done with Street Fighter V anyways. Let me know down in the comments below. I love to read your comments. I look at every single comment, good, bad, and in between. That's great. Do me a favor, give this episode a thumbs up. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on the channel. Always around noon central time, midday. Try to give you a little break on the day. Kind of come back, hang out with us. Usually premiered as well, so make sure you guys are ready to rock with those premieres. Guys, have a great day. Remember, people are going to try to keep you down. Don't let them. You guys got a goal. Go get it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.